We've all heard about digital citizenship, and most would agree that it's an important set of knowledge and skills for all of us. We also know it's something we should be developing with our students. In this course, we'll examine the key elements of digital citizenship education. The ECSD Digital Citizenship Administrative Regulation reminds us of our responsibility as schools and teachers to ensure great appropriate digital citizenship education. Alberta Education, through the Ministerial Order on Student Learning, as well as the Learning and Technology Policy Framework, is guiding us towards student-centered learning, which includes students using technology, online learning, and digital learning, to access, share, and create knowledge, to discover, develop, and apply these 10 competencies. In addition to new ways of learning, there's a strong need to develop and apply digital citizenship and technological skills as well as demonstrating what they know and monitoring their own learning progress. Inspiring Education's three E's remind us that digital citizenship is part of becoming an ethical citizen. As aspects and scenarios around digital citizenship are explored in this course, consider the transformed pedagogies you and your colleagues are shifting toward and how you would communicate about digital citizenship with your students in these scenarios. So why should you care about digital citizenship education? Well, for many educators, it's to help our students know how to use technology safely and responsibly, as well as helping to avoid or reduce some scenarios in school with technology where you're not sure how to handle the situation, and of course to fulfill our responsibility as educators and educational leaders. In this course, we'll be introduced to the three principles of digital citizenship we can teach our students. That being a global, responsible digital citizen means using technology in ways which respects and protects ourselves, respects and protects others, and respects and protects property. We will also learn about the positive aspects of digital citizenship. As Catholic educators, we want our students to be aware that they can use technology for positive things as well, using it to help others and themselves, sharing God's love as well as their gifts and talents with the world. 